Right, quick video, just leaving the mountain bikers play area. It's big now, they've got different levels. They got a hut which I photographed and it's on the other video as well. It's just a lovely day. I usually go up through there after coming off the beach and go up through the wood. But today I'm going to do this lower path. You can see that the tide's out and you can see bits of the beach which you won't be able to see once the trees come into bloom but um, yeah they want to pull all this down and some people say yeah it looks all a bit messy you know I mean they probably leave these sort I think these ones down the bottom might do oh there's a bus this is number one. Oh no no it's not it's a sounded like it it's a jeep I'll probably see the number one in a minute they only run every hour in the winter yeah so there's Sam Bay everyone Sam Bay which you've most of you will never I don't put a lot of most of these videos on. These are just for me. These, these are visual diary. They're a diary. That means that they're um, they've got time. They've got dates, and I've been doing them for years. And I probably talk about similar stuff, and most people would find them boring now. So I don't put them on so much, mainly because I'm often reflecting. I don't do this walk very often, but I did it the other way not long ago. So I thought to myself, do it in reverse. You always get a completely different angle of a place. Do it in reverse. They slow up when they see anyone with a camera, see? Lovely though, isn't it? It's peaceful. We've got no holiday makers. The kids are at school. They haven't been kept at home yet because of this coronavirus. Like in Italy, they've... I think they had 115 people die. And they're panicking a bit more over there. So they're closing the universities, the schools, um, loads of pub, everything's shut down, public transport. They think they can stop it by doing that. Well, in my theory, really, it's horrible if you die, but you'll never get immunity if you try to avoid it. I, caught, I had the SARS virus. Uh, I was told by a doctor I'd never get that particular strain again. After I had a big, it was nasty. It was really nasty. I collapsed at work. And I don't collapse easy. And I collapsed at work. And um, I was in bed for four days. I was really ill. And... Uh, the worst part of it all was the cough. It was cough, 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 and you felt as if you were going to cough your lungs up. It was awful. So I wouldn't want it from that point of view, but sometimes you have to have something to develop some sort of immunity. And if everyone hides away, Right then, I'm just going to turn off for a minute and take some photos. Right then, the 
walk continues. <coughs> this used to be a very quiet little road, apart from in the summer holidays. Now it's, it isn't like a main road still, but it's still quite busy and people still drive along it quite fast. Now up there you can see some of the natural escarpment of the fort, that big solid wall there. I've got a feeling that's natural rock. And that would all be more exposed when they strip all the trees away, which they intend doing. There's lots of little humps and bumps here as well, and they want to expose the lot. <coughs> So it's, it's quite a difficult thing, because one way, yeah, it would be nice to be able to see the fort, strip back, and all its features revealed. It would be in one way, it would be good. But you see, I think they can do that now with all this technology they've got. They can build a model up. I don't think we need to do it. I don't think it would do the fort any good stripping everything away, personally. These trees, they hold moisture, they hold soil, they provide a home. This is an old yew here. But they won't pull you down, mate. They get bad luck. And touch a yew. Holy tree. Yeah, so they've got this dilemma, haven't they? And they haven't got a massive group of people coming out doing it. There's a small squad of them. And they're all, what do you call it, extremists? I met one bloke the other day, he said they all need assassinating. <clears throat> I hope he was joking. He could be one of those tree people. But they do little bits here and there, a little bit of clipping here and there. Cut the vines and the trees fall. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I'll more uphill going this way, by the way. You can see a bit of natural outcrop there as well. It would be quite a fierce hill to get up to have a fight with someone, wouldn't it? Carrying your sword, trying to charge up that. I'm surprised the Romans weren't interested in it more. I wonder why they weren't. I mean, you've got the very English, the Bristol Channel there. It's tidal though. It is tidal. I mean, in theory, I shouldn't probably do this again now for a year or maybe a couple of years. This walk, I've done it in reverse both ways now, see? Nearly. Doing it for posterity. This is um, March the 6th, 2020. I'll just sit on this bench for a second. Down there, the tide's coming in, I can hear it. Tide's coming in. A lovely day. No wind at all. This would have made a brilliant day, but everywhere you go at the moment is boggy. It's thick, thick mud and bog. I haven't done too bad today with these on. These were clean on this morning. They've still got a bit of mud around them, look. I am messy when I walk. I am messy. These are 
thick winter trousers, which I've just remembered I had. And they won't be out for long. I've had them for years. They're so tough. Yeah, I've had them for quite a long time now. I've got the other ones I wear really for summer. Well, sort of summer. Um, I need to get some lightweight jeans. Very lightweight. Lots of holly bushes around. Lots of holly. Yeah, a little bit further away from the road now. Not much further. And then, of course, I'll be on the top road. Eventually. A few people have passed me, but I'm busy taking photos and doing videos. And before now, I have climbed straight up through these... Um, these hills. Um, I have climbed straight up before now. So the thing is with this, you go down, then you've got to go up again. I'm just doing a little bit so that people get a bit of an idea, rather than just do it for like a minute. You don't really get the full feeling of it, of the woods and everything. It's um, a safe path, really, because that is really dangerous to walk on. It's easier to cycle down there than here, though. This goes up and down, undulating. Yeah, look how busy it is. So many cars. Do you know what? There was a time where you hardly seen one. But it is a Friday. Some people are arriving to get have a caravan for the weekend or got their own caravan. See, there's a big ridge. There's like a little ditch there and a ridge there. That'll carry straight on up to the fort. And they want to strip all the trees around either side to expose this ridge. That's the plan. That's the plan. Any treasure in there? Someone's had a look. I got, a feeling, I got a feeling someone did find some Roman coins up here and it was it's in the museum. I got a feeling the Romans used to get everywhere and hide their dosh. I remember when they were building this path. Um, when it was rough and ready, when you still had to walk across lots of ditches and mud. Yeah, but you can see the undulating feature. Here, look, we go um, on a ridge down. See? There's a big... Then we go down. Then up again. Then some solid natural features there. And once again, people will want to climb up through there. Look, there's a way up. Go straight up through there. Then you'll get the top path eventually. Easier to see in the winter, by the way. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go down through Grove Park today and then go into... Um, go and get some money and then go and get myself some more discs. Go and get some discs. Go and get some milk bread milk and bread I don't know what else maybe something to eat <laughs> I'm supposed to be having soup and scrambled egg today I'm sort of cut down a bit I might get some chicken drumsticks already cooked as a snack I'm trying to be careful at the moment because um, I don't want to touch my savings. I only managed to save £20. I had to catch up with what I'd already borrowed to bring it back to £750. And then I only was able to put another £20 in. So I put £70 quid in really. 
that's a big chunk and I don't really want it you might 50 pound goes nowhere right I've got about 80 pounds to last me a whole week that's just over 10 pound a day and it can be done it can be done just a few reflections again I'm a pensioner see I don't know. I don't know how I afforded Alberta in the over the last seven years. I don't know. How, well, I was all right. I did have some money. I did have a bit of money once, and that was it. That enabled me to do a lot of trips. I, had, I did have savings. Let's just go over there and have a look at the flat home over there. It's a lovely day to go and explore that if you if you had the chance. There's the. Trinity House Lighthouse there, and you've got a museum, you've got a pub on there. There's the main farmhouse. I've been on that for the whole day, on the big ship, the Westward Ho. Oh, is, that, is that a tanker or a dredger? Let me have a look, a minute. If it's got like cranes on it, it's a dredger. Yeah, it could be a dredger. Could be. Yeah, it is. It's got cranes on it. That's a dredger. That, now that looks like it's got... That one's not. That's going upstream and that's got um, those big metal containers on it that's moving quite quickly up there wells over there right in front of me we've got Cardiff and the Millennium Stadium somewhere I think that's the Millennium Stadium hold on, there that's the Millennium Stadium England play Wells I don't know where tomorrow in the rugby the Italians have cancelled all their sport. <laughs> and some football matches are going to have to be played indoors and away from the public, apparently. It's going to be funny, isn't it? And they're not allowed to shake hands. <clears throat> and this is being told by children as well when they play sport now. They, they got it. You can hit boots or elbows or you can do a high five, but you mustn't touch. I'll just take some photos a minute. Turn off a minute.